How's it going, PD team? I just want to do a quick video on how to emit particles that are dynamic objects. No keyframes are necessary. So this is great for oddly satisfying videos where you just need to have a bunch of dynamic objects go in a sequence and get emitted out into the scene. It's super easy. Let's dive in. Okay, so here we are in a blank scene. I'm going to create a particle. It's going to be my dynamic object. I'll set it to something like 25. I'll make it rather large for the scene so you can see it on YouTube. We're going to come in here and add a cloner, add the object into the cloner. We'll call this marble. And we're going to set our marble from grid to object. There's two ways we can emit particles. We can use the legacy version of the emitters or the new emitter. So I'm going to use the new emitters, but to be honest with you, for stuff like this, I prefer the legacy. Let me just explain why. So if I go to simulate and I go to particle legacy emitter, what's nice about this emitter is you have the ability to stop the emission at a specific time. So you don't need keyframes um, it's a little bit easier to use but it lacks control of getting the correct particle count per frame so you can see we have birth rate we set these to one and one if you want something a little bit more sparse you're gonna have to keyframe it so there's a advantage and disadvantage between using these two I'm gonna show you the new particle emitter and why this one has some advantages so I'm gonna go here to basic emitter and we want to emit these from a specific point because we want the bounce and the flying of those particles to be the exact same way every time in this case the marbles so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to zero zero tab zero and so now if I play this I'm gonna go to the particle group and make the size to something like 20 I'm gonna pick actually the same size as my particle that I'm gonna do so 25 here's this quick tip so if I come here to the properties of the emission here and I set this to one we're getting even particles but you'll notice they're not consistent and I actually want less particles I want them separated more so the quick tip is instead of using constant and keyframing the rate to zero and one back and forth to get the right amount you can use pulse and what you do is you bring the pulse amount to one the duration down to one and now you have a slider for the gap which is the distance between the particles in frames if I set this to 30 every 30 frames we get a particle that's perfect let's go to 60 you can see now every 60 frames we have a particle that's great so using the pulse can be used for getting more control of the particle output so what we want to do is I want to emit these with dynamics what I can do is I can go to the basic properties and turn off the speed and let me stop this real quick and make something to catch so I'll do a cup here expand it by hitting C go to the face selection hit 9 to do the face selection mode backspace to delete right click on the cylinder go to bullet tags collider body call it cup drag it below and we'll use this cup to catch the particles so I'll drag it down put it about here and I'm gonna hit play and you'll notice the particles are just in one spot which is what we want next what I'll do is on the marble here I'm gonna set the object to this particle group so now what happens is the sphere marble gets emitted in the same spot on the marble group I'm gonna go to bullet tags and do a rigid body and you can see what's happening now we're emitting dynamic objects from the current particle location of the emitter we want these to fly outwards so to do that is really easy we go to the dynamics tab custom initial velocity and you can see we're facing in the blue direction which is Z so I'm gonna go in the positive something like 500 and now we're flinging them forward I'm gonna give them a little bit of a throw up so we'll fling them upwards and now you can see we're launching them into the cup and I can move this in real time to get it to be correct and I'm gonna change my marble to something like 15 so they're smaller I'm also gonna turn the cup into x-ray so I can see them filling up and now here's how cool this is we can go back to our emitter go to the emission tab and if we want more particles we just reduce this amount so I can say 25 15 and we have an, a consistent steady stream of dynamic objects filling the cup very cool in this example I'm using the original emitter the legacy emitter to get similar results you can still use the legacy emitter I'm not sure how long they're gonna keep it inside of cinema 4d so if you have older files you might want to convert them so shorter video really cool effect very very useful for creating oddly satisfying videos so this is how to emit particles that are a dynamic object that's it hope you found it useful thanks so much don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content thanks for your support